Coach, a tough one for your team tonight as you fall to the Laval Rocket, uh, a 5-3. Um, just how do you begin to assess a, a loss like that for your club where Laval came out so strong in the third period? Well, we were, we were good uh, the first 14 minutes of the third period. And then um, took two penalties, you know, um, whether they're good calls or bad calls, it's their penalties that the referee uh, have seen. So from there, we killed the first one. And then we got a five on three on five for a few seconds. And we're, we were doing a good job. Um, and then that, that one rush against, um, they scored a goal. And then the goal number um, three and uh, two and three, um, we're just turning pucks over, and um, and um, that that's what happened. So the team played well. We played a solid first period. We played a solid second period. We were in total control. Scored a nice goal in the third to make it three-one. And then um, individual mistakes, uh, whether it's a penalty or a turnover, um, cost us the game. So the. Gen in general, the team played well. Uh, the last six minutes of the game, you're up 3-1. Now you have to kill a penalty. Now a three-on-five doesn't help. But managing the puck, that, that's going to be done for 60 minutes. doesn't matter if it's at the end of the game or early in the game. We, we've done a good job for a big chunk of it. And um, the most important, par important part um, of the game, uh, after they scored their second goal, we, we didn't. How motivating can, you know, obviously no one wants to lose ever, but how motivating can a loss like this be heading into the final, you know, fourth game of this series on Tuesday night? Well, we'll take, we'll look at the tape and we'll see um, what needs to be better. But I, again, we, we played a good game overall. We, we played solid. We didn't give them much. First period gave them two shots. Uh, second period, we were solid again. The shots were 10, 11. After the second period, didn't give him much. It's just a small chunk of the game where we didn't, um, we we didn't. Some individuals um, just didn't didn't do their job at the moment, and, and that's that's what we need to learn. That you have to do your job for sixty minutes, and and that's all there is. Uh, Leon Gavanka and Christian Veselin both were able to get their first goals of the season. Um, you know, Leon looked like he had some really good chances. There was even one goal that looked like it might have been a goal in Montreal that wasn't called. But um, just how big is that for both those players to finally get their first goals of the season? Yeah, well, I think uh, Leon could have scored two or three goals in the second period. Um, if there's video review, uh, we probably uh, call that one on on Leon's uh, play. And then he, he had a good uh, – took a good shot. But it was coming off a good forecheck, good ma puck management. and. Um, and and it's true for all players. Like uh, we we support the puck well, and then and we play we make good plays in the offensive zone. But uh, same thing with Reichs. Uh, it was a good forecheck. It started with a good breakout, um, and then and then we got the puck back and a quick strike in the offensive zone. So those goals are the result of um, a lot of um, good actions from the other players as well. We'll go next to Jacob Stoller. Go ahead, Jacob. Pascal, what was behind the uh, the idea to put Perfetti with Best Lion and Dano? Well, he's he's been playing good, um, but but it was to create a little bit more offense, um, changing the style. Um, I guess the the move was more um, to play Perfetti and Veselainen more than anything and um, see what's the chemistry between these two. Cole has been playing extremely well, and, and Vess can certainly shoot the puck. So um, having seeing how those two would uh, generate some offense. The last game, we didn't score any goals. It was a 0-1 game. So we wanted to see what kind of chemistry uh, would, be, uh, would look like between those two. And, and Skyler has been playing good hockey. He's good on the forecheck. He's been producing. Um, on the power play as well. So it was just a flip between those two. Uh, but I, I wanted to see the combination of Veselainen and Perfetti. What were your impressions of that combination? Tonight? I liked it. I liked it. I think they, they, they create some good chances. Um, it's only one game, but so far it's been pretty good. Have you seen Dylan Samberg kick up his game a notch since Billy Hainola has been recalled? And even if not, 
what have you seen from him over the last couple of games? Um, no, I think two different styles. Um, I don't think, I don't think he's changed his game. He's, um, he's a, he's a, he's a good defender. He's a big body. Um, can move the puck well. Um, good skater. I, I don't, I, I don't see any Jacob. I don't see any relation to, um, um, Ville being called up if he has to do more, certainly not. Uh, just being consistent in what he has to do. I think he knows exactly what he needs to do um, to be a good player and, and just sticking to that plan. And recently, I've, he's been he's been part of our our games and the way we've we've played. We we defend well. Um, take away the last six minutes of today's game, we, we play a solid structured game. And he's part of it. Uh, our gap is right, and uh, he's certainly part of it. Uh, our breakouts are good, um, so he's. Uh, we don't want him to do more. We want him to um, create that identity for himself and and stick to it and and continue to develop uh, for sure. But um, we certainly don't feel he needs to do more. 